Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol INWK. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days' worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very impressive movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one going forward. So let's map out some areas of support and resistance. First level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we'd say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up above the $4 mark. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below 4 I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to actually stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that would be down here at the previous breakout point, which sits right around $355. So $4 and $355, two of the nearer term levels. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above the $4 mark would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? First key level of resistance is just simply where the party stopped today, and that was right up there at the $4.70 mark. However, if the price can push up through that level, let's squeeze down the chart and look where some next potential areas may, well, we may have to go to another time frame because we are going way back on the chart's history. Yeah, and the price has not been up this high for quite a while. So let's change to the daily time frame. Again, definitely a good problem to have. So next key level of resistance going to be up there at $4.88 and I'll map out one more just in case the move continues to be explosive and then after 48 next key level up there at 515 so all in all as you see here looking at the daily chart biggest volume that this chart has literally had in months upon months so yeah let's see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not next week first off thanks so much for watching the entire video real quick before you go I want to invite you to a live webinar web class training workshop online event whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.